People, what is going on? It's Rick with Baritone Stringworks. I figured I would do a short video to introduce another short series and kind of give you guys an, an update. Um, we did some serious rearranging in the lab over the weekend. Uh, I, I didn't realize how much space that I, that I just wasn't using properly in here. And Laramie and I got to talking and we decided to just kind of, you know, not really go crazy crazy, but we, <laughs> you're gonna be surprised when you see this. Uh, we've got a lot of extra space in here now and uh, I'm gonna share that with you guys for sure. So here's kind of the view from the door of the lab. I can't say enough how happy I am with this. This is, <clears throat> it is a little strange being honest. I'm not used to having this much space to work. But I'm very happy about this. This wall, we painted it with chalkboard paint. So I turned Laramie and Linux loose on the wall the other day, telling them just dress it up, do something, see how it works, and man, it works great. Um, <clears throat> the workbench, all this used to be on that wall, and we just, I know it seems like a simple move, but, but this room is more long than it is wide. So we got rid of the old service cart for the amps and stuff, the old, Husky workbench is out in the garage. Most of the electronics repair stuff is going to happen out in the garage now because I don't do as much of that now. And that's okay with me. That's what I want. I want to shift towards being more of a uh, string instrument pair, luthery, custom guitar builder kind of business. And that's, that's my dream. That's what I want to do. I want to build my own guitars and stuff and get them into the hands of you people and let you guys make, make history with them. So let my legacy live on. Uh, but anyhow, th there's gonna be a, a, a series to follow this and it's just some simple uh, everyday run in the mill stuff that guitar technicians run into every, just about every time a guitar hits your, hits your bench. And there's a, there's a lot of good ways, uh, right ways to do this and achieve perfectly acceptable, sometimes stellar results. but. The way that I do it is the way that I do it, and I figured I'd share it with you guys because that's what I'm here to do is kick some knowledge around and learn from y'all, and you guys can learn from me. So stay tuned. Uh, when we come back, I'll kind of get you introduced to what we're doing, and we'll go from there.